Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about 10 forgotten features that no one uses anymore in Grand Theft Auto Online. So this is a series I've been doing for a couple years now, and today I'm going to be bringing you 10 new features that I just feel like no one ever uses anymore. They're almost like forgotten about in online. So if you feel like you have some cool forgotten features that you'd like to mention in today's video, let us know in the comments down below. But without the way, let's not waste any more time and let's get it started. All right, at the number one spot today, we have showering. So that's right, apartments and CEO offices and houses, they have showers. Now, honestly, I wouldn't even know about this feature if I didn't randomly spawn in there when I have my office set as my default spawn location because sometimes it'll put me in there. Now, what's kind of funny and or awkward is if you want to turn on your microphone and sing, you can actually get 20 bonus RP for singing in the shower, albeit you'll make it very awkward for the rest of the lobby if you do want that RP bonus. Now, another thing that's strange about our characters is he showers in his boxers. Who does that? Who showers with clothes on? Like, you can't even see the under half of him, but you can see that the dude has underwear on. Like, who gets in the shower with their underpants on? No one, but apparently our GTA Online characters do. So showering is a thing that really, I don't even think provides any benefits. Like if you get a bullet wound on you, if you, if you take a shower, does it make it go away? I, I don't know. I think it might, but I've never really taken the time and or care to really use that feature. Okay, at the number two spot today, telescopes. Now, I know, I know, a lot of you guys are gonna be saying, Mr. Boss, I use telescopes all the time to do a hat and mask glitch. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about actually using the telescope for its intended purpose, to like look out into the world and see things. Who actually does this? I'm pretty sure the answer is no one. And I mean, when you look in the telescope, it's smudgy, it's got this like pasty brown haze all over it, and it only gives you this very limited field of view. It's like, why even put this in the game, Rockstar? This is absolutely disgusting. I'd like one of these on like the top of my office that's crystal clear and that allows me to see like 360 degrees, not this pasty green brown goo small circle that I can't see anything out of. So no one used the telescopes and for good reason because they're honestly just worthless. Another forgotten feature, and this one is kind of interesting because it's actually relatively new, that is the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. I don't know anyone that has actually gone out of their way to buy this thing. Honestly, you shouldn't because even though you are getting a lot of items for how much money you end up paying, the items you get are not all that great. Like, there are a bunch of houses and cars and weapons and outfits and tattoos that I would like never even wear in the first place. Uh, the weapons aren't all that great either. So basically, you're spending your money, and yes, you are saving a little bit, but as you can kind of see here on the Legendary Motorsports, you know, I never use the Huntley S or the Enus Windsor or the Corvette Classic. These are all vehicles that have never come out of my garage since like 2014. So I think the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack is a forgotten feature because it's on one of like the online menus, like Rockstar added it there, but I don't think anyone is actually interested in this at all. All right, at the number four spot today, I'm talking about the iFruit app, and I'm not talking about using the Los Santos Custom Shop app to change your rims or update your cars. That's actually kind of useful. I'm talking about everything else, like playing with Chop or using the Life Invader or Snapmatic option right there, which basically will just take you to different tabs, uh, like either on the App Store or anything like that. So this has to be one of the most pointless things of all time. No one's gonna use it to access the Social Club or the older games like Vice City or GTA 3. And the Chop the Dog feature is like the weirdest mini game of all time. So honestly, no one is using the iFruit app except to use the LS Customs app but uh, the chop the dog stuff and everything else is a rather pretty interesting and forgotten feature, that's for sure. Moving on to the number five spot today, joint celebrations. I didn't even know this was a thing until one of Rockstar's recent modes came out, and that was the uh, target assault race mode, which requires two people. If you end up winning with a partner, you do a unique celebration. So there's a lot. There's bro hug, handshake, fist bump, back slap, high five, cowering, sarcastic. Uh, they're really cool and they're honestly way better than like the normal celebrations. I'll show you guys what some of them look like on the screen right now. They're so fun. I wish you could do this in just random free mode lobbies. Like if you just wanted to give a crew member like a high five or a bro hug, you could. 
How cool would that be? That would lead to some awesome Snapmatics. But as far as features go, I had no idea that was a thing until like a week ago. So definitely one of the more forgotten features in the game. The next forgotten feature is you can actually drag race NPCs. I kid you not. So if you find like a sports car that an NPC is driving at a traffic light and you go up next to them and you sort of rev your tires, they will seriously like drag race you through the streets of Los Santos. They will ignore all traffic signals. They will max out their car, try and go as fast as they can. It's actually kind of cool. Now we have impromptu races that you can do and obviously we have our stunt race and our targeted races, but this is pretty cool and I had no idea that you could actually drag race NPCs, which is actually kind of fun. So if you catch an NPC in a sports car or anything like that at a traffic light, just rev your tires a little bit, honk your horn, and they'll engage in a drag race with you, which will actually be kind of awesome. I'm not going to lie. All right, the next thing, I don't know if Rockstar actually announced this anywhere, but this is helpful for losing wanted levels. If you commit a petty crime of one or two stars, after you commit that crime, if you put a mask on, your wanted level will go down and it'll be easier to evade the police. So a very common method for this is robbing stores, which if you do so, you will automatically be given two stars. If you put on a mask or then switch to another mask, you'll actually lose one of your wanted levels, which is kind of cool because honestly, going from a two star to a one star is way better. Going from a three star to a two star is such a convenience because it's just another level of cops that you're not going to have to worry about. And like I said, I don't know if Rockstar has announced this. This feature has been in the game for a long time now, but it's something that they really haven't advertised as something you should do. So again, pretty cool stuff. If you want an easier way to lose your wanted level, put on masks after you commit a crime. Moving on, the next forgotten feature, and I'm not even sure why this is a thing, but in all the CEO offices, there's like this weird extra room that could be used for something useful, but instead it's three office chairs and three laptops. Why? Who uses that? The answer is no one. The reason no one uses these is because the laptops are, do the exact same thing that your cell phones do. So it's, it's less convenient to use one of those laptops than to pull out your cell phone. So I'm not sure why Rockstar has it like grilled into their head that this is what they want people to use. Like they could have made that such a really cool area over there, but instead they decided to make laptops. It's like the back of the Swift or the Lux or Deluxe. Like you can just use your phone. You don't need the laptop in the back. And so our office laptop is definitely one of those forgotten features. Another forgotten feature is motorcycle club work and motorcycle club challenges. Now this is sort of forgotten because of the restrictions Rockstar have on them. So the club work is like deathmatch, joust, stand your ground, caged in. Now that can be done with crew members, but honestly, who's doing that? They're gonna be doing the MC clubhouse challenges or they're gonna be doing the biker businesses. They're not doing club work. Uh, the next thing is uh, the club challenges, which requires other MCs to compete with you. And it's like no other clubs have the coordination to put that sort of thing together, at least in a public session. No one's going to do that. So this is definitely a forgotten feature because Rockstar just made it way too challenging for clubs to come together and do stuff like this. So it just doesn't make sense. Okay, and the final thing we're gonna be talking about today, this is similar to one uh, thing I mentioned in a previous Forgotten Feature video, and you guys really crapped on me in the comments. You're like, Mr. Boss, why are you calling it the Ferris Whale? Don't you know how to pronounce wheel? That's because the Ferris Wheel in game is called Ferris Whale. However, what we're gonna be talking about today is located right next to us, and that is the Leviathan Roller Coaster. No one ever uses this. It's incredibly inconvenient to ride, just like a real life roller coaster, you have to wait on the coaster to complete going on the track. You also have this like weird waiting period as you sit there for 25 seconds and do nothing. And just like the shower, if you make noise and annoy the rest of the lobby, you can get a little bit more RP, which is kind of odd. And unlike the shower, you can do this unlimited times. You can scream and yell as much as you want. It's kind of like the strip club from single player uh, or online for that matter. You make weird noises by talking to the dancers and you can do the same thing on the roller coaster, which is a little bit weird, which is why it's one of the more forgotten features in the game. But anyways, that right there is 10 features that no one ever uses anymore in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What are some other forgotten features that you guys uh, never use or that you know other people never use or haven't for a long time? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. 
If you did go on to enjoy the video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.